let me acknowledge the greatest chairman of the political party, any political party in the Western Hemisphere, our only chairman, Bobby Montague. <laughs> our party leader and prime minister, Honorable Andrew Honis, deputy leaders, officers of the Jamaica Labour Party, my councillor, candidates for the Labour Party, and the Labour Party family, show up. This morning, we're not here to take too much of your time, but I'd like to do two things only. One, I speak a few minutes to remind us of our roots as a party. As we go into a campaign, and many young people here, my young mayor from Montego Bay, deputy mayor, and others in the audience, I think we need to reaffirm the Labour Party roots in the people of this country, and to then give you a few words to go out there and win the election. Because this general secretary don't lose nothing. <laughs> We're going out to win, and we never all. Especially when we have sitting in the leadership, Andrew Michael Honis. Come here to win. But it's a good time as you go campaigning. A lot of noise on the street. A lot of talk about who did what and what can should be done. But remember, it was the Labour Party, Sir Alexander Bustamante, who went. The cane field, the banana fields, the waterfront, the mental hospital where there was 3,000 workers and organ poor people to give them a seat at the table. It was the Labour Party that sought to give a liquor man a voice in the running of the country. At all levels, as I said, Buster take the cane piece work of putting at the boardroom beside the white man. So they felt they were part of this country and they had a claim to have a voice in running the country. Local government is about giving the people in the communities, building them and giving them a chance to run their communities. And as we look at the history of the country, it was the Labour Party that in that effort led us to the first, first, self, first government, first Jamaican government of the country as we won the first adult suffrage election in 1944. Sometimes they laugh and say one of the candidates is a bus, is a, is a obvious man, be Norman man, like Norman Manley. But it does tell you our party embodies everybody. We are part, big family, a big tent. We want every Jamaican inside here because when we work, this prime is the work to build all Jamaicans and every community in Jamaica. When we were going to independence, it was the Labour Party that led us into independence when others wanted to go elsewhere and made us identify as a nation, Jamaicans. And where we go today, Grand Jamaica stands bright and proud. Our Minister of Tourism will tell you that because Jamaicans are recognized worldwide as outstanding people. Labour Party restored and gave us our national identity. And when the problems came again, they turned to the Labour Party to rescue us from extreme politics. It went again, the economy almost collapsed. FinSAC, thousands of black entrepreneurs lost their business. The economy, not what I said, it collapsed, went weak, but it was thousands of our humble people, hardworking Jamaicans of all color, but in fact, majority of African descent, they were beginning to take on entrepreneurial activity across the country. Humble Jamaicans became owners of bakeries, supermarkets, small food processing business, and with FinSAC, their business disappeared. One come, some come to suicide. Lily Bar Party came back, and we started the restoration and the rebuilding of the country. And today, that's the theme of this Prime Minister, to build Jamaica build our people, build one community at a time to make us stronger and more prosperous. Hence the theme of peace, productivity, and prosperity for all Jamaicans. That's the mission we have, and it's a mission that every single Jamaica Labour Party leader in to, should be carrying out there. So that the councillors, that's the job you go out there with. Nobody has done more in the time of government, no other government, in any eight-year period, has done what this government has done under this Prime Minister, Andrew Michael Hone. Understand you, 
Yes, it's the 2016 Raga government, seven years going into it. But during that time, already some people are forgetting we had this pandemic. A pandemic, the first in 100 years, a worldwide disease that damaged the entire economy of the world. Had Jamaica COVID in two years, destroyed, damaged our economy. We lost some 12%, which meant out of every dollar you earn, hundred dollar you earn, you lose twelve dollars. You, as a humble person, as a work anyway, if you lose that out of the economy, your income, you feel it hard. But this government, led by this prime minister, took us through COVID-19 like they were in the normal times. <laughs> we're looking and tend to forget. The mayor's outlined all that the minister local and have done for local authorities. Of course, we haven't fixed everything. We couldn't do it all in one round. We suffered 22 years, 18 continuous of PNP mismanagement. But the message I want to go straight from that is that our workers, the Labour Party workers, the Labour Party people behind you, they're the team you have organized, showed resilience for 22 years and the PNP. Yeah, this is our government. Said your government, go back to your divisions, mo mo mobilize your workers. They have the strength, they have the commitment, they will win this election for you. It's that family, it's a team, you're the leaders, but our workers have demonstrated, and I've made the opposite, but I've said it before, the workers of the Jamaica Labour Party are the best political workers anywhere in the world, in this West Hemisphere. They stood up to the 20 years of pain, the 22 years of suffering, bring us back to government. They're not going to let it go anytime, at any level. Go out into your communities, organize, pull them together, they'll do it. You have to lead. Here in Western Jamaica, we have, in Montego Bay, Cindy, when I got here, at, at council level, we had uh, Eroy. <laughs> Eroy and our friend from the BITU. The council was empty. You never have no Labour Party in there. When we went to Rose Heights, they warned me, Dr. Chang, you shouldn't really walk on Rose Heights alone, you know. That was the message we got. Canterbury, now the bastion and seat for our deputy mayor, young Richard Vernon, the same message across Montego Bay. In fact, in one case in Norwood, where we have no council coming over there, I was told again, some of my neighbors say, Dr. Chang, you can't go, I take you anywhere, now, but I'm not going now, do you? <laughs> not going there today. And how do you refer to Senator Sinclair in Tlanka? We are today, we dominate St. James, starting from that base, and we intend to take them all on this occasion. We have a team, have new members coming into Northwest St. James, too. But it doesn't make any difference. The same team we go for, that one team ready to take on the PNP and not the motor St. James. And we're going in round one. We're not having any dispute, any, any, any talk in St. James now. But can we help some of our owners? We're extending our reach beyond the borders. But the less I want to ask of you, besides understand the roots of your party, is in the small, humble people of Jamaica, where our mission is to continue to build opportunities for poor people. Time is too short to have completed a job. We need more time. I said to the country, we need that time. This Prime Minister took on the, the weight at a fairly youthful age, has the strength, but has also acquired the wisdom and the intellect to carry this country forward to prosperity. He's going to build it, work with us, I have a responsibility as part of it. We are working as a team to restore, to build peace, increase productivity, and bring prosperity to all the people. Get into your district, carry that message to every single house. Whatever it looks like, if you can walk that district, you can win the district. And there are no district Labour party can walk in. We will be out there with you from this level. I'll be visiting some of the seats. I know I cannot visit all. As many constants as parts as we can. The leaders there and all the officers of the Labour Party to work with the councillors. But in your own constituency, come together.
Chairman of Constituency, Chairman of Divisions, pull the team together, do the work, we will win this election and take all the parishes under a Labour Party banner and me. God bless you. Thank you, Labour Rights. Show our Labour Rights. Show our.